And in the next fight, man, I'm really looking forward to this one as well. We've got Mickey Gall fighting Mike Mullet. Uh, two guys which I think have, um, in, in, in like a weird way, like underrated careers. I actually do believe that Mickey Gall has a very strange career that no one's really talking about. This guy was signed to the UFC at 1-0 and after beating, um, I think another debuting guy or something like that. And he called out his shot. He wanted to fight CM Punk. And then he fought Mike Jackson, one of the greatest of all time. The man that is making his return uh, very soon, actually. And then he fought CM Punk. And then he fought Sage Northcutt. Like, this is a guy that has been in the UFC since he was 1-0. and Which is definitely um, something that I want to point out. I mean, like, that's pretty impressive. But uh, since then, unfortunately, he hasn't had the greatest run. The win of uh, Sage Northcutt... I feel like that was when his hype was at the highest. Then he fought Randy Brown and lost to him. He beat George Sullivan, and now he's kind of gone win and loss since then. He lost to Mike Perry in a fight, which I guess was kind of hyped up as well. Um, beat Jordan Williams, who uh, gave Ian Gary some problems, so I guess that's pretty cool as well. But, uh, I mean, the, the loss to Alex Morono doesn't even look that bad either. But I do think that, unfortunately, for Mickey Gore here, I think we're gonna, he's going to snap his win-loss streak. I am picking Mike Mullet. To win this fight here, but I thought I'd just bring that up. Like, it's so interesting that Mickey Gall has been fighting in the UFC since he was 1-0. I mean, that's kind of crazy in my opinion. But uh, as, as for Mike Mullet, a three-fight winning streak with a with a, a, a draw in there for Bellator from six years ago. Like, that's the thing with this guy, is he just hasn't really been fighting super often. He fought in Dana White's contender series about six months ago. Over Shimon Spatrisky, submitted it with a gear 10 like a minute into the fight. Obviously got the contract from that. I mean, he was undefeated at the time. I think a lot of people were picking Mallet to win, but a decent amount of people were picking Spatrisky to win as well. And he's also got that win over Solomon Renfro, which... Uh, is a very exciting fighter, and I think that he also fought in Dana White's contender series last year as well. Now, since then, unfortunately, he has lost a couple, but um, Solomon Refro is still definitely a good fighter, especially a good wins. How on your record? So, Mike Mullet, I think, uh, as I said, underrated. He's, I believe, he's the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu coach for Team Alpha Male. He used to have it here on um, on his on his uh, Instagram, and unfortunately, he doesn't anymore. But if you should look at his topology page and you scroll all the way down from seven years ago when they last updated it, uh, he was the Muay, Muay Thai coach at, at, at um at some gym as well. And we know that he's got a black belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu now. I don't know about Mickey Gall's uh, Jiu Jitsu credentials, but he has been training Jiu Jitsu pretty much all of his life as well. So I'm assuming that he's got a pretty decent belt there. This is going to be a grapplers match. It's going to be a Jiu Jitsu match. I feel like these guys are going to be uh. Trying to get the fight to the ground, I think they're going to be trying to lock up subs. I think the, believe it or not, I do think Mike Mallet's actually going to have the uh, advantage on the feet as well. The Muay Thai background, I think, is going to show uh, if the fighter's staying on the feet. He's also used to be a Muay Thai coach as well, uh, back when he was a lot younger, back when he was about 23, 24 years old. So, uh, I think that's pretty interesting, man. I think it's very interesting that he took so much time off. I'm not too sure why. I probably should have researched that, but... uh. His one loss is to Hakeem Dawudu in the uh, World Series of Fighting, which is uh, also known as uh, PFL. So, um, yeah, I thought that I'd point that out. Mickey Gold, though, he's pretty decent, but he's got a better ground game. He actually hurt Jordan Williams on the feet before he submitted him, so we know that his striking is improving. And he also beat Salim Tahari by decision uh, about two and a half years ago, but he hasn't been the most active guy in the world. I feel like he's been learning on the job sort of thing, you know. Well, this is a guy that once again signed to the UFC at 1-0. I'm picking Mike Mullet. I don't think we're going to see a decision here, actually. I'm picking a Mike uh, by submission in this one. Maybe a TKO on the feet, uh, if we see it, because Mullet does have a great Muay Thai uh, background himself. But I'm picking uh, Mullet by submission here. And I do have a decent amount of confidence in him. I know that there's people picking Mickey Gore because they're not too sure about Mullet, but I'm trusting in Mike Mullet, man. I do believe he's going to get the job done in this one here.